to explain his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So um, many school children received their school lessons through remote learning over the last two years, and many parents grew concerned at the ineffectiveness of the class, virtual classroom and circumstances of this learning environment have been bad enough. Fortunately, as their children received instruction from their schools under less than optimal circumstances, many parents' eyes were open to what their children were being taught in school. As a result, these concerned parents began attending school board meetings in greater numbers, voicing their outrage at the various anti-American ideals. What was the response of the school boards? Was it to listen to the parents, consult parental input in their children's education? No. School boards had their National Association, the National School Board Association, write a letter to President Biden uh, requesting that the Patriot Act be used in an effort to restrain these parents. Obviously, the Patriot Act was, Patriot Act was never intended to be used in this manner. Former Chairman Sensenbrenner, the primary author of the Patriot Act, stated that the Justice Department, quote, lacks authority to invoke federal anti-terrorism laws to chill protected expressive conduct, close quote. Less than a week after receiving the letter, the Attorney General wrote a memo directing all U.S. attorneys to meet with local enforcement, law enforcement and coordinate with the FBI on how to investigate threats against public officials at school board meetings. In a press release that followed the Attorney General's memo, the National Security Division's involvement was mentioned. According to a whistleblower, the FBI's counterterrorism division has been tasked with implementing the Attorney General's directive. And Mr. Chairman, without objection, I submit the uh, whistleblower's uh, comments. Without objection. Thank you. That whistleblower re revealed to us that the FBI created a threat tag, edu officials, to label and track parents. This is unacceptable. My amendment merely ensures that the FBI does not use the edu, edu officials threat tag or create a similar threat tag to identify and track concerned parents. We must ensure that parents do not have their First Amendment rights of speech petitioning and assembly trampled by an overzealous federal government. And one way to think of it is, this was brought up earlier by Mr. Bishop, is that just recently, the uh, Secretary of Homeland Security issued a terrorism advisory uh, bulletin, which indicated that widespread online proliferation of false or misleading narratives regarding unsubstantiated widespread election fraud and COVID-19 would be narratives um, that need to be investigated as domestic terrorism. Similarly, putting a threat tag on parents who merely show up at school board meetings to question the acts of school boards can be very problematic and, and goes beyond the scope of this bill. That's what this amendment does. Um, and I would, I would urge also, Mr. Chairman, that um, a November 18, 2021 letter that was submitted to Director Ray by the ranking member be admitted into the record. Um, that objection. Thank you. And with that, Mr. Chairman, um, I will yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. 